I was terrified. As soon as the, the, the sun went down, I knew they'd be there. Jane Nelm says throughout her life she's had constant visitors and not of this earth. She says it all started in 1973 when a brilliant white light appeared in her bedroom window one night. As I pulled the drape aside, all of a sudden there were five beings this tall all around me. Nelms has drawn what she remembers of her encounters. These are the five beings she says came in quickly that night and took her. I could not move, couldn't do a thing, and I was trying to grab the railings to stop myself from being taken. They had total control. She says they carried her to their ship outside, and one of them even spoke. This is the being that talked to me. He said in a very monotoned voice, Jane, it is your time to come. And I said, I am not going anywhere. He said, why not you come with us? I said, because people need me here on earth. I have family, I have friends. It is your time to come now. So they took me and I was on that ship and it wasn't until 1993 when I was hypnotized that I found out what they were doing. Nelm says she didn't speak of that for years until she met others at a support group near Dallas who claimed similar experiences. When she moved to Carrollton, Nelm says the aliens followed her and came to others. She remembers a frantic, frightening phone call from a neighbor. She said three different types of beings came down the hallway and the fans started reversing, lights were flashing and there were these little balls of light just flying around everywhere. She said one of the beings was so tall it could hardly get through the door. Nelm says those beings abducted her neighbor just as they had her before. Why? She says for scientific research. I know this is crazy but this is what happens. They examined her, she said, when she was on the ship, the mother ship, she said there were all kinds of different species of aliens. Some of them were wearing civilian clothes. She said some of them talked in other languages. She said the ones that came over to her and um, told her that they weren't going to harm her. They just wanted to do some examinations. She says she confronted those same aliens that night and even has evidence they were here. These are the fingerprints off of the car. Nelm says these long, skinny markings are the alien's fingerprints that she dusted, and she has pictures as well. This alien was in a fetal position as it tumbled through the window, through solid material. Here's his head and his eye socket. And this is one hand here, another hand here. It's almost like an x-ray. Nelm says she had to overcome her fear, so she went right out and met them. And I went out into the backyard and I faced one of them, very tall, and in the dark he had really glowing eyes. Hmm. Um, and he was scanning, he was stood there, he was just scanning like this. Just like that. Hmm. And he'd look up. And I was about 25 foot from him, and I said, you don't scare me. She says they left that night, but not for long. Courtney Lane, KLTV 7 News.